Is Trek Slash just another enduro racing plow, or can it be your everyday trail bike? I'm Matt Phillips, Bicycling Senior Test Editor. Let's check out Trek's latest mountain bike. The Slash is Trek's long travel 29er. This is a big bike, but Trek's product team wanted to make it more than just another boring plow. So one of the ways they tried to make it more of an everyday trail riding tool was to make it respectably light. With all these heavy duty parts though, it doesn't wind up being a particularly light bike. The bike you see here weighs 31.6 pounds. Another way Trek avoided plowitis was not to get too wild with the geometry. True, this is a big bike and it is gonna fall into long and slack category, but they didn't go as extreme as we've seen from some brands in this category. So it's a big bike, but it's not huge. Compared to the previous generation, the new bike gets some 10 millimeter bump of travel front and rear. It's full travel on that landing. 160 rear and a 170 fork. But if you're looking for a little bit more, Trek has okayed this bike for a longer 180 fork. Perhaps the biggest step Trek took was specking a trail shock. Most Slash models come with a RockShox Super Deluxe shock. Many models get Trek's through shaft damper. That design is exclusive to Trek and they claim it's more responsive and just a smoother riding shock. Now, if you're looking for that big hit capability that those bigger air shocks provide, you can fit a Fox X2 on this and it is compatible with coil spring shocks. This one also has Trek's flip chip Mino link and it adjusts the geometry about 0.6 degrees in your angles and less than a centimeter of BB height adjustment. Another change is they went to a larger seat post diameter. This bike uses 34.9 seat posts, which allows them to build a more robust dropper. This bike also gets the internal storage system that was launched in the new Fuel EX. New Slash uses SRAM's universal rear derailleur hanger. That just means that you can bring one along on the ride and if you break a hanger or your friend breaks a hanger, you can all use the same hanger. Don't know why no one thought of that sooner. Tubeless ready wheels and tires. You get a 2.6 front tire with a 2.4 rear tire. Max tire clearance on this bike is 2.5 in the rear. And on the chain ring front, just because some people are gonna use this for big mountain rides and some people are gonna race enduro on it, 28 to 34 tooth compatibility on the chain rings. The line starts at $3,500 with the aluminum slash seven and go up to the $8,500 slash 9.9 XTR. Oh, I wonder where this trail picks up again. Oh, here we go. There's no doubt that when you have a 160, 160, 170 bike with 64 degree head tube angle that weighs 32 pounds, it kind of goes without saying that it's a gravity oriented bike. And when I took this to the bike park, flipped it to low mode, had a great time. And, you know, I think for bike parks, for Whistler, for Moab, this is gonna be a great all around bike. And it might actually be okay for people who don't mind carrying a bigger bike around. That's because when you flip it to high mode, it's a respectably lively bike considering how big it is. It climbs well, it doesn't climb fast. The front end is a little loose as you'd expect. Climbing on this bike is just sort of like, yeah, yeah, let's get this over with and get to the good stuff. When you get to the good stuff, Trek in the last few years has done some remarkable stuff with their rear suspension too. They get a feel out of their bikes that's pretty unique. This thing is just so balanced and so buttery and so smooth. I felt that on the new Fuel EX, felt that again here. This bike is a lot faster and smoother than you might think. It's not gonna be as lively and playful as 27.5, but it's gonna go fast. It really did feel like a versatile bike. If you're an enduro racer, if you're someone who goes to a bike park several times a year, but also wants to ride more playful trails, it rides a little smaller. It doesn't force you to ride wide open on the steepest terrain at all times. And I think that's a really special thing. So that's Trek's new Slash, an enduro bike that also does a pretty good impression of a trail bike when you need it to. What do you think? Please let us know in the comments below. Do subscribe to our channel so you can catch more of my videos, more of my colleagues' videos, and you can find me on Twitter 
at I Like Sushi, where you're always welcome to heckle me or ask questions. Thanks for watching.